Hello, welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika, and here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to talk about this. This is something I think that needs to be talked about a little bit, especially at the top of the year, because there's some of us out there who might be kind of back and forth on this subject. So, how long is too long in the broom closet? Uh, <laughs> Now, everybody's going to have an opinion on this subject. And really, I mean, full disclaimer, right? what I think is what I think and what you think is what you think and so forth and so on. So it really kind of doesn't matter what I say or even what you say unless you're discussing your own life and your own, you know, journey. Um, but, you know, we're allowed to have opinions about each other's journeys <laughs> and about our, our own. And we can give guidance maybe to others who are really wrestling with this. So this is the stance that I'm taking. I am not like telling somebody that they have to come out the closet. Um, no, but I will, well, you'll hear in a minute what I think. So first question is, are you in the broom closet? And what is the broom closet? So for me, what represented the broom closet is basically me not really talking to anybody at first about this um, thing that I was getting more interested in and this thing would be at the time it was Wicca witchcraft so forth so at first I just kind of looked and I read a couple things and then I started sharing uh, my insights with pe the clo people closest to me so the people in my house perhaps you know for instance they they would know but I still considered myself in the broom closet because they knew, but then I didn't take this outside the house. And then maybe I told one or two other people outside the, outside the house. Again, I still said, well, I'm still in the broom closet because everybody doesn't know. So then I told a few more. Next thing you know, many, many years later, I have a YouTube channel. So one would say, oh, surely she's out the broom closet. She's making videos talking about this. Everybody knows. Well, the thing about the broom closet thing is, and, and I'm explaining it like this for a reason, even though I have this channel and I, I'm over on Instagram, my face is on everything, um, to everyone, no, I'm technically still not completely out of the broom closet. And it's not a thing where I'm holding the door shut and just not stepping out. It's more like, hey, you come find me, I'm over here chilling. You know, I'm technically, you know, to you, I'm in, but to everybody else, I'm out. Um, so I explained it that way because depending on if you feel like you're in a broom closet, like you're really not living out your full witch potential because, you know, you're hiding uh, parts of yourself. Are you really? Or is it just maybe to these people or those people or maybe them up there? But technically to the people who matter to you you're out <laughs> you know you're out and by the way don't be dismayed if the people that you consider that matter to you are people you've never actually met in person maybe over zoom or you know over video or something like that but if that's your tribe that's your tribe um they're still people it doesn't matter the vessel you know that you use to communicate they're still people and if you're having a real connection with them and you consider them your people and uh, you can vibe with them and be honest and, and exp show that part of who you are then they count so you're not still technically in a broom closet right so I just this is just kind of how I see it because I think there's degrees to it um, <clears throat> I guess if I become more popular and uh, then I guess everybody would know, but then there's still gonna be people who, you know, the people I know, that I personally know, I mean, who might not come across ever knowing this was what I was into. And that's fine. And once they find out, they find out. Now, I'm not saying that people haven't found out because, I, you know, we've moved around a lot for my husband's work. So I wanna say approximately every two to three years we've moved over these years, uh, more than a decade or so. So, or less than at times, less time than that. Um, it is possible that people, especially over social media now, because you know, if you have a most, I know with iPhones, if people are in your contact, they become suggestions on social media apps. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. If you know, I'm, I'm sure most phones do this, so it will suggest them. So 
if they go check, they're going to see. I've never had anyone come up, come back to me or come up to me and say, oh, hey, I didn't know you were into this, you know, or ask questions, good or bad follow-up questions, you know, just whether they're curious or they have some issue. I do strongly believe that some people have found information and chose to just not say anything because, you know, it, may, it might be uncomfortable for them. And I don't care, by the way, if that's the case. More happy for me. I don't want to explain myself or what I believe in every five minutes to somebody that sees something. I really don't watch. I, you know, I almost want to say just check out my videos. I'll tell you. It'll tell you everything you want to know about what I think. But that's just that. But the point is, you're probably not in the broom closet anymore. You think you are because I think some of us kind of have this grandiose idea of what it means to come out. Uh, maybe you'll throw a party, which is nothing wrong with that, by the way, but maybe you'll throw a party and announce it to all your relatives and your friends that this is what you do, this is what you believe in. But the reality of it is it's not necessary and you're still valid and you're still, you know, worthy of referring to yourself um, as a witch or whatever you're calling yourself uh, along this path. It's perfectly fine. So I believe you need to start asking yourself questions like why why if you really believe you're still in this and it's been I want to say years why why is that what is it is it rejection is it um is it you know a fear of being judged um being you know uh excommunicated like what what is it and if that's what it is at some point I will say this you've kind of got to reconcile what's important to you. And by the way, being out of the broom closet, which I'll just jump ahead to, doesn't necessarily mean walking around with a witch's hat and, you know, all the symbols all over you, whether it's jewelry or tattoos, although that's cool too. I'll probably get there one day. But the point is, it's not necessarily the only way to come, you know, be out and about. It's, it's not like that. Um, instead, it's whatever you want it to be, however you are. People see me, no one does. I'm sure there's quite a lot of people who see me and they see wife, mom, they're not seeing, or black lady, they're not seeing witch, you know? Uh, especially the way we kind of promote what a witch aesthetic is in, in current times. It's usually a younger woman, probably younger white woman. Um, and there's the whole thing with that, you know, but um, at least, you know, if you think look media and things like that, they really push that that look. Um, but yeah, some of us are out here, you know, not quite crone. Um, <laughs> but we getting, we working on our crone, getting to that crone phase. Some of us are still out here practicing. And we've been doing so for years because those younger girls, they, they grow up. And if they stay true to this, they too will be where I'm at. But anyway, but yeah, you need to start asking yourself those questions and only you can answer those questions. For me, I could, if I at the time asked those questions many years ago, I would say a uh, fear of judgment. I didn't want anybody to demean what I was into. It was th that type of judgment. Also, not so much people wouldn't stop talk, would stop talking to me. No, I knew no one, it wasn't that deep. But I also didn't want um, to feel on the defense all the time. Fun fact, you're gonna feel like that anyway. So if that's your issue, trust me, it's gonna happen anyway. Um, no matter how many times you explain it, people have this perception because it, people to me like to put things in little boxes and compartmentalize so that way you're this and what you believe in is that. So it never, you know, has to um, conflict with their beliefs or their worldview because it's very important that they keep their worldview intact, even if they barely focus on it or even delve into it. It just wants to stay intact. I mean, that's typically going to be your people who, oh, I was in Sunday school all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm technically spiritual, but the moment you say, oh, yeah, I practice witchcraft, they become, they want to spit Bible verses at you or, you know, want to tell you you're going to hell and all this stuff. It's like, you know, how would you know? You don't even go to church. But anyway, let me go on a tangent on that. Anyway, but the point is the why. Start asking yourself those questions. What is it really about? And just face the fear, face the issue. Um, because if we know anything, life is short. And I personally will always advocate for people, regardless of whether it's my lifestyle choice, 
whatever it is. But if it, it if it makes you feel whole, be who you are. Be who, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, obviously. But you know, be who you are. And if you see yourself as a witch, be that witch. Again, it's not about the costumes and the dramatic, you know, dramatic appeal, apparel, and all that stuff. Although, again, I find that cool. But please, just be who you are. I don't want you to feel like you are closed off um, and have to stay closed off a part, a, a major part of you out of fear of whatever, judgment or, you know, being um, rejected or what have you. Um, okay, yeah, I was going to go more into, I kind of, but I've kind I was going to talk more about my own experience with this, but I kind of feel like I've already went, threaded that in the conversation, um, which is cool, but yeah, so, um, I overall feel like there's degrees when it comes to, there's levels to this <laughs> coming out the broom closet thing. It starts with just getting the foot out, maybe the hand, maybe you come out, but you kind of go back in. That's uh, something I want to talk about real quick is it is possible that maybe you did tell some people some things and they didn't take it so well and you're really disappointed. So you don't tell anybody else. It's not that these people don't know. It's just, sorry, my phone's ringing. It's not that these people don't know, other, you know, they, they still know, but you know, they know and that's it. But you didn't, let's say, tell your coworkers and your, your um, extended family members and uh, associates, people you don't normally deal with on a regular basis. You didn't make a big declaration to them. Um, and just more on this whole grand declaration thing. I think it would be beautiful to be able to throw a party and, um, you know, people come in, you know, whatever, apparel they want cosplay you know they could come fully decked out you know in like druids or stuff you know witches whatever I think that actually that's kind of cool and um you know you just have this big announcement maybe you say a few words it, it's kind of like this grand reception of you explaining hey this is the path that I'm on thank you for supporting me I think that's beautiful by the way I would love to see things like that actually happening um that that is wonderful that's great. Also, I understand people like the concept of going on so to social media platforms and making a grand declaration. Okay, well, I don't have a party. I can reach a lot of people saying this. And hey, I now identify as a witch, da 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 da. That's great. I'm not going to say anything negative about that. Like, oh, that's your business. You should keep it to yourself. Do whatever you want. Live out loud. Of course, which is why most people fear coming out of the broom closet is fear of consequences of doing all of these things. Uh, however, what I want to speak more to is you don't have to make these grand declarations. And I feel like we are part of, even if you weren't born in that generation, but there's a bunch of people who have this concept that you have to declare everything out loud. And I think I personally come from the generation, well, we didn't do that. Um, we just we didn't do that and I, I still don't do that necessarily so you don't have to make these big announcements and i know it feels like weird because you feel like well how will people know they don't have to know <laughs> they they don't need to know um why like again start asking yourself those questions quiz yourself on what are you really trying to do because at that point it kind of looks like you just want attention um but, but you're not going to get the kind of attention you want unless you're someone who feeds off a of drama. And we do have people who are like that. Um, they tend to want to have people, you know, they want mess. They want something. Um, and they can create maybe a really big pile of mess. And it's something for they'll be dealing with for weeks and for months. And they'll be happy with that. They'll appear as if they're not. But we all know people like that. And yes, some of those people actually practice witchcraft as well. So there's that. But overall, my, old, my entire message on this subject is just stay true to yourself. Live your truth as best as you can, as close to what that means, whatever your truth is, obviously, without harming yourself or others. But live your truth. Be who you are. Um, it, I've, I've, there's been so much death. We're coming out of the previous year, the year that shall not be named. And there's been so much death. And it, life is so precious, guys. And I just, I, I want to impress upon you um, this whole broom closet thing. You know, I'm not, you know, don't rush your job and whatever else fooling around with me. But if you're, 
<laughs> whatever you feel like, whatever you think it means to be out of the broom closet, examine that and maybe try to strive to some sense of reality of, of what that is. Um, so instead of the big party announcing or going on social media, instead maybe tell your close friends. Uh, maybe, you know, um, wear something that symbolizes, you know, paganism outwardly. Start with that and if someone asks you, yeah, go off and, you know, explain what's going on if you choose to. Uh, but, you know, keep it simple and, and just move on. Just in the same way that, you know, other people, you know, in other religions, you know, you see women, they wrap their hair and people have questions and they ask them. I know that because I've been, I grew up around that. Um, come, I lived in New Jersey and I feel like um, I had access to more people who cover, women who cover Muslims than I ever did actually anywhere in the South and definitely here. I see some, but not that many, but I felt like in the, you know, New Jersey, New York, all that, you see more, it's a, I guess a bigger melting pot, so you see more different people. But anyway, um, people ask them, of course, everybody's got a different personality. Some people are going to get tired of people asking them about it. And that's cool. Just, you might get tired of people asking about your jewelry, but guess what? Um, I'm, I'm, and I'm thinking in situations like at work and social sit settings, you ask and you know what, they can choose to move on or they can just tell you what they would never want to do. They don't believe in that. And you could just nod and say, oh, okay, I get it. Cause I don't believe what you believe. So we're good. And, you know, move on. If this person is trying, you want to go back and forth. Well, you know what you're dealing with. It, by the way, fun fact about people like that. If it, it was not just going to be about you coming out as a witch, if you ever differed from their opinion, they would, there are certain people who are always going to want to argue with you. So it's not even about you being a witch. They're just a jerk. So don't even trip on that. But anyway, my overall message, be true, live your truth. That's that. So I hope this was helpful um, in just kind of having this conversation. And I wanted to have this conversation in a little bit of a different way than just, oh, come out the broom closet. Like one, there's degrees. Uh, you probably are already out. <laughs> and two, um, people should really just mind their business, right? <laughs> we can all agree on that. All right. So thanks again for watching. My name is Mika. This is Leap Taken. Please like, subscribe, share. If you have already subscribed, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, please um, hit that little alert bell thingy uh, so that you can get uh, notifications of when I do other videos because I got great content planned for this year. And thank you again for watching. Bye.